Hello guys, today the topic of discussion is E-wing sarcoma. It's the second most common malignant bone tumor after multiple myeloma. So as you can see, I have made a swing. So swing, E-wing. So I hope it will help you remembering the name. E-wing sarcoma, a swing for a mnemonic. You can see that a baby and a little boy are playing on a swing. So, as we know that E-wing sarcoma is more common in boys from age 5 to 15. So, I have made two boys. One is a baby boy and one is a bit older who are playing on a swing. So, E-wing sarcoma occurs in boys from age 5 to 15 years okay the second point is now where does this tumor occur like which part of the bone is affected mostly ewing sarcoma occurs in diaphysis of the long bones like the femur tibia around the knee mostly so as you can see I have made the pole for the wall, clock a big clock the pole is like femur if you think if you can see that and um, if you notice that the um, the bar that is supporting the clock is coming from the middle of that bone shaped pole so mostly the even sarcoma arise from the medullary area of the typhus right so hopefully it will be helpful in memorizing this that even sarcoma arising from the medullary area of the typhus. Okay. Now, the third point is there's a very important translocation that is associated with even sarcoma, and that is 1122 translocation. And as a result of this translocation, a protein called EWSFLI1 is formed that causes all this growth. So to show 1122 translocation you can see that of a, on a big clock um, the number 12 is written twice like 1122 that is showing 12. So it's 1122 translocation and um, the protein that it's making is EWS, EWS is Ewing sarcoma and FLI1. So to remember this name, I have made like you can see a cloud on a boy that he's saying as he's going higher and higher say I fly one, I fly two. So fly FLI one EWS FLI one is a protein throw. So fly one will help you remember the name of the protein. <clears throat> so it's a play area and what are the onions doing here? Hmm strange. <laughs> no, not strange. Actually when you see these lesions and x-ray they appear like onion skin right like the layers of a new bone as it's growing outwards so um, on x-ray it will appear like onion skin right and under the microscope um, you will see small round blue cells that resemble lymphocytes for those I have made blue dots on a bone shaped pole that will help you remember that under the microscope you can see small round blue cells and which may also form homerite pseudo rosettes right so to show the rosettes i've made small red rows like things that are not true roses <laughs> around the clock so round blue cells and pseudo rosettes 
are the histological features and uh, as we know that it's very aggressive tumor and it most mostly presents with metastasis and but very good thing about this is that it is responsive to chemotherapy if you are doing surgery you are removing it you are doing chemo and radiation then 5 year survival rate is 75 percent and that's not bad so hopefully you like my mnemonic e-wing sarcomal let's revise quickly again so there are six important points about this tumor one it occurs in 5 to 15 years old boys second occurring in diaphysis of the long bones like femur tibia third associated with 1122 translocation fourth that is this translocation is producing a protein called EWSFLI1 that causes all this growth fifth point is under the microscope the lesion the tumor appears like an onion skin layers and layers of bones and sixth last point is under the microscope you can see round blue cells like lymphocytes which form pseudo rosettes okay thank you very much